Hello guys, Row Matrix is back with what was promised. That is a video on 3D rotation. Let's look up to it. As we saw earlier, the rotation of first matrix with respect to the zeroth frame will be x10, y10. Here we are including a z frame, that is z10 with respect to the z0 frame. And we expand it like this, that is x10, x0. Expanding this similarly as we did in the earlier video, we come up to the value of rotating in the z axis at an angle of theta and we derive to this. Similarly for rx theta and ry theta. Why I have already derived this? It's very simple because I've already taught you how to do it and you can easily do it if you want to. Now let's look up to this very important note of rotation in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. That is, if you rotate something in an anti-clockwise direction, it is always positive. And if you rotate it in clockwise direction, it is negative. Now let's look up to an example so that you are perfect with it. We have an example. We say that we already have a P2 frame as 3i plus 3j plus 4k. Okay, I think you had paused and you have read the question. As said, we have rotated the first frame with respect to Z axis in 90 degree and with respect to Y frame in 90 degree, both in clockwise direction. So we say RZ minus 90 and RY minus 90. Like I have explained to you that P0 equals to R1 with respect to the zero frame P1 we have written this equation that is first we have rotated it in ry and then rz i have directly written it because it's very simple and you can easily do it just substitute the values of the matrices above and you get this question so our initial frame was 3i plus 4j plus 3k i hope you have understood this if you have any doubts please contact us i hope you liked it thank you Robometrics.